fortune favors the brave. My job as a chemical engineer requires monitoring like a hawk. The jet fuel that we manufacture supplies the Cape Town airport. Okay, guys. The supply has to be continuous, otherwise that jeopardizes flights. And a refinery is a chemical engineer's playground. What is the magic? Low value material gets upgraded to fuel. I play a direct role in my community. I was born in Durban. Even in school, I was very passionate about chemistry. It was just a calling. Chemical engineers uh, play a pivotal role in taking something invaluable and making so many products that are of high value. Shikar means hunter. I think that's what I embody in my life, that ethos of being brave. The task that I'm about to do requires me to enter the reactor from the top manhole and then descend with the rope ladder. There's a limited movement. There's also a falling risk. This is considered a high risk operation. Whenever I do the reactor inspection, my dad, the night before, will sit and he'll be like, Jigar, do it right or not at all. If you're not feeling safe, stop. If in doubt, find out. Those safety words stay with you. My dad, he is a guru. Inside here, make it nice and hot. Most importantly, a friend. I take a lot of strength from his past. It hasn't always been smooth sailing for our family. It's more hot. It's warm, this rice, the rice. The man I see today so everything must be laid out. is the man for all seasons. Yeah, put four plates. Chicken curry, some paneer, mm. and some salad. Well, I'm going to inspect the, the reactor yeah, at work. Make sure that you are safe before you do any job. Yeah. You want a spoon? Yes, please. A tall spoon. As a parent, you have to allow your child the opportunity to choose. But was I a good father? Let's say I was a very immature person. I, because I am a, a recovering alcoholic and a drug addict, so, so it's a painful story. Yeah, so my life was full of pain. Humiliation, you know. And then watching my first child being born, was uh, one of the greatest moments in my life. Always dreamed of being, being a good father, you know, uh, being a, a responsible man. Today I can say that, yes, I am a good father. One day at a time. Ah, she goes this first. is a special memory. This is where Dad celebrates his first, first. year of sobriety. I'm a handsome man. <laughs> Yeah, Andy, Andy Garcia. Yeah, look, Andy Garcia. And he's Andy Garcia. Area. You're wearing a beautiful sari. That's my wedding sari. Oh. Yeah. My mom is a special person. The anchor, I think, for my dad and played a very instrumental role throughout my undergrad. She always says she's learned chemical engineering and she's learned to become a chartered accountant because she's followed my brother and myself through our journey. <laughs> I must be thankful that our house became a home. Electric Engineers shop. look like that. Electric yeah. shop. <laughs> my dad worked at the refinery. So a typical day as a child would see my dad coming home from work, the role model dressed in an overall. I was more you know, curious about the fuel. Chemical engineering resonated with me. What I've learned from my father, who has experience of working in refineries, is uh, precision, do things right, 
do it safely, communicate effectively, do it with accuracy. Typical day, I get into the office between 7.30 and 8. I'll meet with the console operators just to gauge the health of the process unit. Hello. How are you doing, sir? How's the health of the FCC? The plant is fairly steady today. Yeah, in terms of the ambient temperature, we haven't hit any um, constraints. So we found that it was turning slowly. There could be an issue with the VSD. Mm. You know, we've been down for a while with the cat loader, but I think next week we just need to put more emphasis on the team from instruments, maintenance, process, and then we come together and get it right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We want to maximize the reactor catalyst. This is kind of the process um, that I run through and I monitor. So basically checking the unit performance, monitoring that we're not uh, exceeding any key process parameters. So my role as the process engineer is to get process data, input the process data, and we're able to predict the dumping of the catalyst. And then the next step is to clean the reactor. They're gonna put a GoPro onto the cat service guys. Then they can see me going and doing the inspection. Mm. Anything can go wrong inside the reactor. And I have to rely on the team above. Running. 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 Okay. Survive. This reactor has three side manholes and it has a top manhole. So that's where I enter from the top. Do the gas test at each manhole. There could be gases that are trapped that are heavier than air. There is a safety harness that gets put on as well. As I get into the top manhole, there is a fall arrester with the winch, and that gets connected to my safety harness. This one? They are busy putting down the lights. And then I enter the reactor by the top manhole. There's a rope ladder that I descend. The reactor has five catalyst beds. I get to each bed and I check for cleanliness, any mechanical damage, and I take photos. Some of the visuals will definitely add value for training younger engineers. Good one. Everything looks okay. Cleanliness is good. I'm proceeding down to the next grid. Okay, down. Down. Light. Okay. The transport vehicle needs fuel. For me, it's critical this fuel gets to its destination. And I think for me, it's humbling. Isaac Newton says, the reason I see further than others is because I stood on the shoulders of giants. <laughs>